Good afternoon, ladies hey and guys. gentlemen. Welcome back. It's Foss. I'm Richard. I'm Anthony. As you can tell, we are both two very straight bros. It's so straight. <laughs> this is my I'm gonna steal your girl look. How you doing? Since we are extremely straight, we're gonna explain some wonderful terms used by the straight community on a daily basis. We gonna educate y'all. Time for a nice little edumacation. We'll talk about shade. We'll talk about dust. We'll talk, we'll about, talk about tea. We'll talk about the five Gs. And, and we'll talk about being a hunty and a heifer. The first branch of the shade tree is throwing the good old shade. Like when I tell my good friend Richard I love his hair. And then... I will fucking like it. Other forms of shade could be in the way of knowing you're better than someone. Like when Richard walks into a room and someone says hi, what do you say to them? Don't talk to me. And you can also have really direct shade, like you walk mm -hmm. into a room and you go, you look really freaking busted. But no, when I when I go backstage at the show, sometimes bitches be telling me I got garage doors because I only paint one color on each eye. You bitches know who you are. How'd you get that, girl? That's my chair. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is tea. And what does tea mean? The truth. I mean, tell the truth. Not tea like a tea bag. It's when you you just really need to be honest with someone and be like, Time to turn down. You just, you need to turn down. One time, I was sitting around with a friend, and they smelled really bad. So I threw a stick of deodorant at them. I gave them the tea. I gave it to them in their great little twinkie hands. Words don't need to be exchanged. No. And you embody the tea. You become the tea. You shoot up the tea sometimes depending on who you are. For you weaker-hearted people out there, there is a way of being shady in a polite way. In the other communities, we'll say, people will be like, no offense, bro, but in our lovely colorful community, I'd be like, no tea, no shade. And then say a dirty term to someone or call out their nasty ass red hair. Something along those lines. Why it always gotta be about my hair? No tea, no shade. You need to shave that beard. Okay. So the next thing is umbrellas. And who needs umbrellas? The mm -hmm. weak hearted. So if somebody's being shaded really hard, like everybody's getting them, everybody's throwing shade, you'll be like, take this umbrella, you'll yeah. be safer. If I was, if, if someone, if person here, hello, nice to meet you, sir, was to throw some shade at Richard, I'd be like, oop, girl, take your umbrella, you need it. You need to be covered from the shade. We. Acquire certain talents as we grow old. Certain knowledge. Certain knowledge. We get wiser. We get wider. So there's this new a new phenomenon coming up in the community called throwing dust. It's where you lift up the rug, you pull out the dirty secrets, and you throw the dust. It works better when you've been friends for a while, or yeah. if you just like gossip. Throwing some dust would be like if you know your friend has an STD, and you want to call them out on it, you would be like, you're pointing at me as I was I was pointing in the direction of of God himself. So you would lift up the rug, you pull out the chlamydia bubble, and you throw it at them for the world to know. Sometimes you just need some motivation and you need you need a, a quote to a help pick me you. Up. A pick me up to get you through the day. Not a pickup line. So what we provide with you guys are the five G's. Good, Good God, God girl, girl, get a, get a grip. grip. Sometimes you just really need to get your life together, take a step back, and Pick up all your beating brushes and get back at it. Get out there. <laughs> if you sweat on stage, girl, it's okay. Wipe your eyebrow off, draw on a new one. Simple, easy, quick. If you learn one thing from this video, Queens, is, well, two things. Queen is spelled K W E E N. Write it in essays, write it on college applications, write it on your tests. Hashtag now Queen Richard Anthony, right now. Make it trending. You need to know what it is to be a hunty and a heifer. Two different things. First off, a hunty is someone who's getting all up in your business. They crawling all up on your skin, they climbing you like a tree, not in the good way, and they want to be you. So you say, hunty, turn down. And a heifer. No, nobody wants to be a heifer. Mm -mm. Especially not coming from our mouths. Uh-uh. If you're a heifer, that just means like, Ooh, girl, I've had it with you. You are a heifer. You need to get out my face. You need you Christ. Need Jesus. Anyone. Whatever deity you believe in, you need them. You need them to come down to this planet Earth and bless you with the water of your holy gods. 
What would you say is worse, being a hunty or a heifer? Being a heifer, all straight up. No one wants to be a heifer. Except for that girl who was a heifer in my high school. Still feel bad for her. If you're watching this video, which you're probably not because I don't think you own a computer, then, <laughs> then I'm sorry your parents did that to you. Okay, so for our question this week, we are asking you guys if you have like any inside jokes or any names that you call your friends that like maybe we could pick up on. Comment below, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, add us as Facebook friends. Like this video. And we'll keep on trucking. What do we always remember, ladies and gentlemen? Good God, girl, get, get a grip. grip. Bye. Bye. Heffa. <coughs> Don't stop. Won't stop, can't stop. Somebody gonna make me wanna turn around and say, Is it for people that need help? Yeah, like if someone just got shade thrown at them, you're like, ooh, here's y'all better. <laughs> okay. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Or it gives you chlamydia. Same thing.